Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to continue for, from where we left off. So we've been talking about these things called NFAs, which are non-deterministic finite automata, and DFAs. And what we were able to show is that every DFA is already an NFA. And what we want to be able to show is, well, is every NFA also a DFA? And it turns out what we'll show is that they are equivalent. So we can take any NFA that we like and find an equivalent DFA that does the exact same thing, which is really nice because a lot of problems are easily specified with NFAs and DFAs are the ones we can actually build in real life. So let's actually try to motivate this with an example. So let's see, let's suppose that we have the language L which is the set of all strings, let's say in 0, 1 star, where uh, W contains uh, 1, 0, 1. I think we may have talked about this example. And here's a really simple NFA that achieves the job. So what we have is a start state right here, and then 1, then a 0, then a 1, and if the if the string w contains 101 then once we have read the 101 here i don't care what we read after so i'm gonna have a 01 self loop there and at the beginning i'll have a 01 self loop also because wherever the 101 is anything can go before the where the 101 is which is uh, captured here so how do we actually handle this here well, this is obviously an NFA because we have, say, the one transition right here and another one transition here. So let's actually try to make a DFA out of this thing. Well, let's see. What could we possibly do? Well, before we've read anything, we have to be in the start state right here. We can't be anywhere else. So let's, if we're trying to make a DFA, an equivalent DFA for this, then we're gonna have a state Q0 right here, which corresponds to this one. Actually, maybe I'll call it, uh, yeah, I'll call it Q0. But instead, I'm gonna call it the set containing Q0 because that's the set of states I could be in. Before I've read anything, I can only be in Q0. I can't go to any other state without reading a character first. Well, if I'm in, if I'm in Q0 right here, then if I read a zero, I'm gonna be stuck here. Um, and I can't go anywhere else. So I'm gonna take a self loop here on zero. But if I see a one, then that corresponds to either staying here because the NFA could make that choice, or I can go over to Q1 if I wanted to. I have two possible states I could go to here. So I'm gonna make a state which has all of the possibilities that I could be in right now, which are Q0 and Q1, and I'm gonna go there on input symbol one. So this is capturing the set of states I could be in in the NFA through a series of choices that could be made. Okay, well, what about on input zero from this state right here? We're done this state because we have a zero and a one transition, but what about a zero and a one transition out of this state right here? Well, if we have a zero transition, Either we're in Q0 right now, or we're in Q1. Well, then what do we do? Well, Q0 says, well, you can be in Q0. And Q1 says, you can go over to Q2. So really, the set of states I could be in is Q0, which involves the self-loop on 0 here, or this 0 transition. So what we're really doing is we're looking at the choices of states we could be making and just look at what happens on each of those states. Where else could you go on zero from those states? So I'm gonna make a state right here on input zero, going to a state I'm gonna call Q0, Q2, because those are the possible states I could be in. Well, what about from one on this state right here? Well, Q1 fortunately doesn't go anywhere on input one. So the only one that really matters is Q0's um, uh, transition on one. Well, we've already figured out where it goes on input one, which is this state right here. 
So in fact, this is will be a self loop on one. Okay, well, what about input zero from this state? Well, it turns out that it'll come back to here because Q0, uh, sorry, Q2 doesn't do anything. Q0 uh, on zero goes to itself, and we've already handled that over here. If we go on one here, well, Q0 can go to uh, itself or to Q1 on input one. So I'm going to make a set with those possibilities. And, and what does Q2 do on one? It goes to Q3. So I'm going to include that in my list of states. And that goes to it on one. And let's try to finish this thing off. So on input zero, well, once we're in Q3, we're always going to stay in Q3. Because uh, if, we're, if we're here, then we no matter what we do, we're, we stay there. So on input zero, Q1 doesn't, uh, goes to Q2. Q0 goes to itself. Q3 goes to itself. So on input zero, we can go to Q0, Q2, Q3. So we can go to that state. On input one, where can we go? Well, Q3 goes to itself. Q0 goes to itself and to Q1. So in fact, we stay here on one. From this state right here, where do we go on input zero? Q0 goes to itself. Q2 goes nowhere. It has no transition on zero. And Q3 goes to itself. So we got to go to a state uh, Q0, Q3, because those are the only two possibilities. And what about from one on this state? Well, Q0 goes to Q0 and one, two goes to three, and three goes to itself. So in fact, we go to this state right here. And if it, this is going a little fast for you, uh, what I would recommend is actually going through each one of these and verifying for yourself that it's actually correct. I, I might be actually making a mistake, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Um, Q0, Q3 on zero, well, it stays in the same uh, state. Both of them go to themselves and don't go to anywhere else. On one, Q0 goes to Q1 as well. So in fact, we come down here. But now for the final, and now we've actually have every single state that could be constructed here be uh, have their zero and one transitions filled out. So we're actually done making the states and transitions. But what about the final states? Well, the only final state in the original NFA was this Q3 state right here. So that means that if we have a choice of making of going to that Q3 state, then remember the NFA will always make choices to go to a final state if possible. So the states over here in this machine that are final are the ones that include Q3 in their set list name. So in red, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double circle or make final the states that have Q3 listed in them. And we can actually verify that this is right. So notice that um, once we come from this state on input one, we'll never leave a final state. So it doesn't matter what happens after this one transition. So let's see. Well, if we have a if we have a zero that we've seen so far, we're either in this state or in this state. But if we're in this state right here and we just saw a zero, that means we came from here, which means we saw a one before it. So that means that the things that we have seen once we get to this state are one and zero. And then if we read another one afterward, that means we're now into this part, which means we'll always accept the string, which really captures the language which it contains 101. And if it doesn't, we'll either just stay at this state or stay at this state, which is pretty cool. So how does this work in general? Uh, not N. In general, we'll notice that we have sets of states right here. And we have what, four states right here in the NFA. In general, we could have all two to the four or 16 different possible subsets of states in here. It is possible to have all of them. In this case, we only had six. 
So the other 10 sub subsets of states are just not possible to ever generate, but in general, we could have all two to the n possible subsets. So let's let uh, D be a DFA. Uh, sorry, not, not a DFA. Um, actually, I'll call it N to have it be an NFA. N NFA. Then we're going to construct an equivalent uh, DFA as follows. Well, one thing that we should notice is that this NFA didn't have any epsilon transitions. And from our last video, we talked about epsilon closure, which is going to save us here. So how are we going to do this? Well, the states in here are going to be subsets of, of N's states. It, we may not need all of them, so what I recommend is building up the DFA one state at a time versus just making all possible subsets of states, but it, but in general, we may need all of the subsets. And then what is the transition function? So what does the transition function of the DFA look like? Well, remember, it's always going to be a state and an input symbol because it's a DFA that we're making. But remember that each state of the DFA is a whole set of states in the NFA. So I'm gonna call the set of states capital X and input symbol A. So let's just re remind ourselves that this is a set of states in the NFA. And this is an input symbol, of course. Well, remember what we were doing was we were looking at each of the states in turn and figuring out where each one of them went because remember the NFA has choices that it can make. So what we're really doing here is figuring out where the original NFA did on each of the individual states in this set and combining all of the results together. So it's going to be a union over every single little state Q in this set X. Remember, X is a set of states. And figuring out where the transition function for the NFA went. So uh, I'm just gonna write here the set of states in the NFA we can get to from uh, Q on input A, on that one character on input A. But one thing that we should keep in mind is once we get to a set of states, uh, remember that we could take an, uh, additionally some epsilon transitions. So remember the E function, which is the epsilon closure from before. So additionally, once we figure out every possible state we can reach, we could possibly reach more via epsilon closure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an E in front of this whole thing. Once we figure out all of the states that we could reach, we could go to additional states if possible via epsilon transitions. Remember, a DFA doesn't have epsilon transitions, but an NFA does. So we want to be able to handle all of them because we need to be able to have transitions with no epsilon transitions in the DFA. So the epsilon closure takes care of that for us. And what is the start state of the DFA? It's going to be the epsilon closure of the just the single start state because remember, we got to figure out where we can go to in the NFA with just observing epsilon transitions only from the start state. And that's just what epsilon closure is. And also, what about the final states? Oops. So what are the final states? Well, those are just the subsets that have a final state in them from the original NFA. So subsets X such that at, uh, X has a final state 
of the NFA. I'm avoiding putting um, form a complete formality here purely because the idea is what is more important here. And actually going through an example is actually the most important part right here. So the important thing to keep in mind is you always start with the start state by figuring out what's the epsilon closure of the start state right here. And we didn't need to do that here because there were no epsilon transitions in this NFA right here. But in general, you'll need to take care of that. And then once you, once you want to find a particular subset on an input symbol A, then what you do is figure out where you can go on that symbol A and then take the epsilon closure of what you have at that point and then just keep repeating until you either run out of states or you enumerate all possible subsets of states and if there are n states in the NFA there will be at most two to the n states in the DFA and this is why we call this thing the power set construction why is it called power set purely because the states of the dfa are all the subsets of the nfa states i.e the power set of them pretty cool so i hope that was interesting leave a comment below if you were able to find it out a different way or have an interesting example of an nfa to convert to a dfa here as always, like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the growth of the channel. If you want to support this channel additionally, you can do so via Patreon and our Discord link. All the links are in the video description. And as always, I'll see you next time.